Um, so welcome to the, the weekly community sync up. Michael is on vacation and Terry is sick. <laughs> sick, but still helping us out, thanks. So we're going to um, keep the meeting short. Um, our agenda is pretty short. Um, and I believe, Terry, are you going to put your agenda in the YouTube comment section? Okay, um, and if it's, even if it's not in the YouTube uh, comment section, we'll, we have the notes and um, I'll have the link to the notes in the YouTube video. So if you're really curious about what we've done, you could just like read through them. Um, I think it'll be a best way of going about it. Um, so what we will do is I will actually talk about some of the things that I've been working on, um, what I've been blocked, what um, I've been blocked on and what's next. Um, for one, I am currently working on a sprint bot. So you might have noticed that the IPFS community, many of us have weekly or bi-weekly community calls. So we're just, look, so we're coming up with a way to make it a bit more convenient for us to set up and to announce these calls. Um, and so that's what I've been working on. And this week I'm working on automating the GitHub process and uh, getting it so that the groups that take notes on Google Docs, it'll be easier for them to um, put in a PR. Um, I, let's see, I am blocked on, so we're trying to figure, so different teams use different uh, tools. Some teams use Google Docs, other teams are using CryptoPad, so I will have to figure out later on how I can take CryptoPad and record those notes in a way that is uh, seamless and so that we're not going and clicking on um, different menus and windows and such. So just taking a couple of steps out of the process. One of the reasons why I want to bring this up is because it is, and it, this is going to be open sourced. So if you have team meetings and if you're looking for something, if you have calls on a weekly basis and you're looking for something to automate some of these things, uh, some of those processes, then um, when I'm finished, I can show you a link and so you can also look at it. Um, let's see. Next, we, I'll be continue working on the Sprint Bot. Um, working on PR automation, announcement automation, and I will be pair programming with Michael on removing the ready event from the JS IPFS API. So that is what I will be I will be working on. And in terms of agenda, um, we um, Arcadia is currently assigned as our representative of the of our working group. Um, Molly was our representative last quarter, but this quarter we have a new representative. And, and that is it. Um, Terry, would you like me to announce uh, some of your done block next? You can just put thumbs up or, okay, yay, thumbs up. <laughs> So what Terry's done, this is pretty exciting. Um, she's added new chapters to the Proto School site. And next week, she is launching Proto School officially. So it'll be officially launched. You can like use it and tell all your friends. And not only tell all your friends, tell all your friends to actually create a Proto School meetup. So more people can learn about um, IPFS and the wonders of what we're working on in distributed tech. Um, some of the things that she's been working on is like fixed responsive nav bar. Um, once again, the launches on Monday. And we all as a community, we're all very excited about Proto School. And so please just like spread the word. Those are all the announcements um, that we have. Uh, we can, if you have any questions, you can like um, tell us your questions and some of the concerns that you might have. Well, hey, uh, I guess I might say a little something actually. Um, uh, cool. So 
uh, thank you so much for letting me be here again. Uh, I was uh, actually talking with Jim a little bit earlier and uh, doing a little bit of work on, I think, the very first outside instance of a proto-school community starting up uh, here in Denver. And uh, so I might be jumping the gum a little bit on you, Terry. Uh, I'm doing a meetup actually tomorrow centered around just generally awesome. getting the mm -hmm. drum beat going here. So I think I'll demo what our uh, pre-alpha even proto school is um, and I'm putting together a little slide deck. So if you guys have comments, um, actually put out uh, an issue for the meetup itself, but specifically around any content you think is great for entry level people who are just interested in decentralized tech in general. Right now I'm temp or templating a, um, uh, a brief presentation based on something that Juan did, uh, I think back in 2016, that's very long and in depth. So I'm stripping that down. Looks very much more similar to the, uh, I think the, um, uh, the first lesson that you have up there, Terry, on Proto School. So I think that's notionally the plan. Uh, and I wanted to do a shout out to uh, Jim as well for, uh, we talked a little bit a while uh, about some of the stuff he's doing with PeerPad. Um, so I, hopefully we can get all the way from zero to uh, talking about what CDRTs are on IPFS. Uh, uh, that's, that's, that's the goal. If we can get there, that'd be awesome this, this Friday. Awesome. Um, are you going to walk through the tutorials in the meetup? I'm just basically reading what's in the chat. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think that the notionally the plan is to give just a brief overview and then let everyone play. So it's going to be more that I, I've walked through these so I have an idea of what might be going wrong. Um, but to let everybody just as they would naturally go through these tutorials and hopefully uh, I'll encourage people to put up issues on the repository as well itself if they're running into stuff. So uh, again, it's a way to try and bring in and retain everybody and in what Proto School's up to. Okay, that's uh, great. Uh, Jim, do you have any announcements or questions? Um, just uh, several small things. Um, I'm really excited about you getting that um, change to JS IPFS because that thing is hounding me. Like that little message that pops up about the <laughs> um, sync messages. Um, the uh, I'm going to be uh, talking with uh, some uh, the folks at uh, Moxie Studio in Portugal uh, uh, next week. Uh, Marco, Andre, and Felipe. Uh, but they're gonna they want to set up a proto school chapter in Porto, Portugal. So so oh, cool. and uh I'm sort of thinking about maybe I'm gonna just look around Vancouver, see if there's any interest in it here. So I might we might be able to get several chapters going all at once. Um so that's sort of exciting. Uh, I'm I I haven't really dug into uh what um the proto school code yet in terms of just, uh, figuring out how maybe we could hook in some tutorials. Um, and also uh, for, for team meeting notes, um, the, the project that I'm in charge of, or the lead maintainer on, is uh, PeerPad. And that was always intended to be the tool for internal note taking. So maybe we can have some offline discussion about maybe we can integrate these things together. So. Yeah, that's something we had in mind. Um... And I would like to talk to you even, uh, I would like to talk to you even offline about uh, PeerPad and the possibility of us like using it in our sprint bot because that's definitely been in discussions. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Um, so if um, that sounds like that's it, thank you everyone for attending and we'll see you next week. So have a good week and um, Dan, I'm really interested about your first uh, Proto School meetup, and please just tell us all about it. And if you have any questions, you can always like send it to our way, and we get help issues. So, see everyone next week. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye guys. Thank you. Bye.